stocks in the red yet off session lows as President Trump is predicting that the U.S. will reach a trade deal with Beijing. And his comments, in fact, coming as China reported an unexpected drop in, in trading, this adding, of course, to overall fears of a global economic slowdown. S&P Investment Advisory Services Portfolio Manager Aaron Gibbs is with us. Ankara uh, Managing Director David Sowerby is with us Sourby. as well. Sowerby is Charles. with us. Hey, how you doing? And uh, Heritage Capital President Paul Schatz. Paul, let me start with you. A lot of moving parts. We're off the lows of the session, uh, and we've had a remarkable run. I don't think people realize we had the quickest 1,000 point move, one trillion dollar point move in the Wilshire 5,000 5, 5, ever. So a quick snap back, a V-shaped rally. Now the market's grappling for direction. That's right. So far, it's been a V-shaped bottom. But Charles, remember, V-shaped bottoms are really rare. Now you can harken back to. No, 9-11 on September 21st of, of, uh, of 2001. V-shaped bottoms are more characteristic of longer-term bear markets. So I'm more in the camp that this rally is going to peter out from here in the next 1% or 2%, and then we're going to roll over to test the old the Christmas lows in probably March. And then I think the last nine months of this year are going to be super terrific, fantastic, and the year ends up... 10 or 15 percent higher from where it began on Jan 1. Uh, sounds like a Dickens novel. I'm not sure I want to deal with that one. All right, David uh, Sowerby, uh, where do, what do you see with this market? What's the message of the market that we should be looking at right now? Ch Charles, it's that fundamentals always matter. Starting off uh, at the beginning of the year, even late December, the valuation you could buy on companies, whether on an earnings or a cash flow basis, was quite attractive. I saw more insider buying in late 2018, particularly in very solid U.S. small company stocks, than I had seen in more than six or seven years. Sentiment became unusually bearish from a contrarian. That's a good thing. When you roll all that into one, it, it's not surprising that stocks have rallied off the lows. Maybe not as much as you would have thought, 10 percent, but still a rally. I think that has some legs left in it, mostly on a valuation right. and, a, and a cash flow growth basis. Aaron, last time you, we spoke, you talked valuation as well. I think you even mentioned financials. The only group up today are the financials. Citigroup turning out to be the stock of the day, although the initial reaction to the earnings was mixed. It feels like after going through the numbers, it's good enough, considering that the stock hasn't really performed. Is this what you were anticipating? One, uh, yes, exactly. Just that eventually we'd come back to fundamentals. And this entire day is really about fundamentals rather than just the macro. So we see, you know, different stories gone in different sectors. Utilities are getting killed because PG&D is, is, is uh, declaring bankruptcy. And tech is getting hit because it'll slow down in China. And financials are up because we're seeing some good news there. So we're really seeing that coming back to these types of fundamentals. We're really recommending investors focus on stocks with good value good fundamentals because we think that ultimately this would be one of the main driving points for the rest of the year rather than just purely sentiment. Aaron, I want to come back and maybe you give us a couple names so we understand what value means to you. But, Paul, you're, you seem to be the one that most, uh, most worried, at least about the near term. How do, you, how do you invest in the market when you anticipate a retesting? I mean, if we're talking at Christmas Eve low, it could be a dramatic, violent move to the downside. How do you position yourself? Well, first, I think you have to recognize that even though the fundamental backdrop landscape is still pretty positive, fundamentals are not the greatest timing tool. That's when I think David mentioned you know, sentiment. And you, you saw the breadth numbers, the, the number of stocks going up and down in the day, along with the associated volume. You saw all the things that you typically see when you launch a new bull market leg. But I subscribe, if you look at past 20% declines not associated with recession, 2011, 1998, the great crash in 87, each one saw a retest of the low on lower volume, lower momentum, a little less scare. And I subscribe the same thing's going to happen this time. How do you invest? You buy weakness, and if you either stay the course in, in the strength or you do a little trimming. But I don't think after a 10% move off the bottom, you throw, you go hog wild in the stocks. I right. think the opportunities right. are going to come. Right. And, you know, we, we saw the banks rallying today. Well, banks and energy were so decimated last year, even the slightest bit of okay news we saw from Citibank is igniting well, a little bit of a fire. City was up 8% coming into the day, though, to your point. So the and energy stocks are up also. David, how, what are some of the value names that you're looking at? Certainly. And, and it, it's not just confined to city. Citizens Financial 
which is an East Coast bank, but also has operations in the Midwest. It's up more than 11% this year. Valuation is quite compelling. Loan growth, uh, operational efficiencies, I think that tells a story for many banks in 2019 Do you like that are any trading names, at a significant of the discount. Sector? Sure, uh, Wyndham, Charles. Wyndham is split off from the Wyndham Vacations. We saw in 2018 that spin off small company stocks were down 18%. Long term, that is a great formula for providing value to shareholders. Spin offs are already up about 8% right. this year. Wyndham is a spin off on the hotel side, Howard Johnson's Ramada, that I think represents valuation as well. All right, folks, we got to leave it there. Aaron, I'll try to get you back. Hopefully, you'll come back later in the show and give us uh, some of the ideas you can share.